Was Georgia's 48-7 win last week impressive? It actually, it technically was not. They didn't even score the point spread. They were over a 50-point favorite in that lackluster 48-7 win against Tennessee Martin. Could it happen again? Does Ball State have a chance of staying in with the spread? They lost by 30, failed to cover last week against Kentucky. I'll let you know just in a moment where to make some money in this Ball State-Georgia game on Saturday afternoon here on Wager Talk TV. I am Steve Merrill with wagertalk.com. We're going to break this game down in just a moment. Quick reminder, hit subscribe, hit the like button, and leave us some comments below. Let me know your thoughts on this non-conference matchup, which is on the SEC Network, Saturday at 12 noon Eastern. I mentioned Georgia last week. You know, on the surface, a 48-7 win seems very impressive. Most schools would be very happy with it, but they were actually a 50-point favorite against Tennessee Martin, FCS Tennessee Martin. But they took their foot off the gas. They had 559 total offensive yards. Uh, they held uh, Tennessee Martin to less than 135 yards rushing or passing. So it was a solid win. I don't read too much into that non-cover. The question is, can Ball State play better? They actually played better than the 30-point loss indicated last week against Kentucky. In fact, I broke that game down here on Wager Talk TV for you last week, Ball State, Kentucky. And I mentioned that Ball State should be improved offensively. If you recall, I gave you the over in that game. It easily went over with 58 total points. The total was only 49, and Kentucky put up 44 of those. But that Ball State defense is the concern. Georgia's going to run all over them here. They're going to pass all over them as well. The only chance Ball State has of keeping this competitive is if that offense can score more than 14 points. Lane Hatcher, who started his career at Alabama years ago, did start the game, went 6 for 8 last week, but only had 36 yards passing and was replaced by Simonza for the rest of the game, who was very solid, 15 for 21 with a touchdown. Marquise Cooper, the high-profile running back that came over from Kitt State that had over 1,300 yards rushing last week, only managed 33 yards on 15 carries. Against an underrated Kentucky defensive line, things will not get any easier this week, though, against that Georgia defensive line. They've been the most dominant defense in college football for several years. They do have South Carolina on deck, but I don't think they get caught looking ahead. And I like the fact that they only put up 49 last week in a lackluster win against Tennessee Martin. I think they bring it and they kick it on all cylinders here this week. If you're going to play it, the only way is to lay it. And looking at the Wager Talk live odds screen right now, Early in the week here, Georgia is currently a 42, 42 and a half point favorite, and the total's around 53. By the way, if you have a local book that's sleeping on parlays, this is a rare opportunity where a parlay makes you money. Georgia and the over, Ball State and the under are extremely correlated. In fact, the projected score based on the side and total in this game would be a 48 to 5 win by Georgia. So basically, it has to go over, and if Georgia covers, and if it stays under, basically, Ball State has to cover. Does that make sense? It's called a correlated parlay. If you find a sports book that's sleeping, not many of you don't let them do it anymore. When I started 25 years ago, they did. They found out quickly when they got hammered. But once again, Ball State and the under, Georgia and the over are very correlated. So depending on what you like on the side, it probably dictates the total. I like Georgia on the side here. That would also get you leaning towards the over 53 as well. Hey, look, not the most sexy matchup, but there's still money to be made with these games. Georgia's the only way to play it. Best of luck on Saturday. Be sure to check out wagertalk.com. Get the next three weeks of college football and pro football combined for less than $7 a day. It's a three-week special. Works out to less than $7 a day for every college and pro football best bet. It's on my page right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And be sure to stay right here on Wager Talk TV. Another great college football preview is coming up next.